In this video, we're going to start thinking about what it means for something to be a multiple of a number. So we're asked which of the following numbers is a multiple of 9. So pause this video and see if you can figure that out. All right, now let's do it together. And one way to think about a multiple, a multiple is a number that you can get to by multiplying the number, in this case 9, by a whole number. So we could figure out the multiples of 9 by skip counting. That's one way to do it. So you could go from 9, and then you add 9 to that, you get to 18. You add 9 to that, you go to 27. You add 9 to that, you are going to get to 36. You add 9 to that, 45. Add 9 to that, 54. Add 9 to that, 63. Add 9 to that, you get 72. Add 9 to that, you get to 81. And we could keep going. But to figure out whether these are multiples, you really just have to say, hey, are any of these numbers in this list? Now, if one of these numbers are larger than 81, we would have to keep going to see it's included. But we can see that 46 sits between two multiples of 9. 46, that sits closer to 45, but it sits in there. It sits between two multiples. So that's not going to be a multiple. Another way to think about it is, for something to be a multiple, if you divide by 9, you're not going to get a remainder. But if you divided 46 by 9, you are going to get a remainder. You're not going to be able to divide 9 into it evenly. So I am just going to, I'm going to take that one out of contention. 77 is right over here. It's between 72 and 81. Once again, it's between two multiples, but not a multiple. 39 is between 36 and 45. So not a multiple. Between two multiples, rule that out. And we can see very clearly that 18 is a multiple. If I was doing this on, on my own, I would just maybe be skip counting in my head. I'd be going 9, all right, I don't see a 9, 18. Oh, I see an 18. There, there you go, especially if I'm only going to pick one choice. Let's do another example. Which of the following shows only multiples of 8? So pause this video and think about that. All right, well, I could do it choice by choice here. So let's see, this first one, is 4 a multiple of 8? Well, 4 is, can divide into 8. We could say that 8 is a multiple of 4, but 4 is not a multiple of 8. What whole number am I going to multiply 8 by to get to 4? So we can rule this out. And you can think about what's, what they're showing here. These are actually multiples of 4, not multiples of 8. We can skip count here. Four, 8, 12, 16, 20, 24, 28. These are multiples of 4, not multiples of 8. Some of the multiples of 4 are also multiples of 8. 8 is a multiple of 8. 16 is a multiple of 8. 24 is a multiple of 8. But not all of the multiples of 4 are multiples of 8. And I think you might be seeing a little pattern here of which ones are multiples of 8. Now what about this choice right over here? 16 is 8 times 2, 24 is 8 times 3, 32 is 8 times 4, 40 is 8 times 5. In fact, we could skip count. 8, then 16, 24, 32, 40, then 48, 56, so on and so forth. But these are all multiples of 8, so I like this choice. And then over here, 1, 2, 4, and 8. Well, these are showing numbers that can be divided into 8 without a remainder. You could think of them as factors of 8. You could say, hey, I can multiply 1 times 8 to get 8. I can multiply 2 times 4 to get 8. But these are not multiples of 8. What, what whole number can I multiply 8 by to get 1, or to get 2, or to get 4? In general, your multiples of a number are going to be lar are going to be that number or larger than I was about to say that number or multiples of it. <laughs> but I realize I can't use multiples to define multiples. It would be that number or larger numbers than it, and it would have to. And if you were to skip count with that number, you would hit all of the multiples.